What do you like to sing? Oh. Willie Nelson, maybe? I do. All the time on my head, yeah. Uh, on the road again. Rough crowd, too. Like, I had someone break into my truck for a half, rush, half rack of bush light. Half rack of bush light? Yeah. It's down to that level. It was down to that level. And the funny thing is, the car was unlocked. We should try that out, Michael. Yeah. Well, put eyelashes? No, I don't know. Well, I already got long eyelashes. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you, yeah, you got a good you set. A good set. There's a good travel quote I like. And it's something like, explore your hometown as if you were a tourist and you'll never be bored. So I thought uh, I have some time to kill and that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna walk around downtown Billings and just talk to random people about what life is like in Billings, Montana. Let's see what they have to say. So here we go. What's up guys? You guys live here? Uh, Where are you from? We're from here. Okay. What's yeah. your name? Uh, I'm Ransom. Ransom Zane. Nice to meet you. How you doing, man? Too. Noble. Noble. Nice yeah, to meet nice you. To Where are you guys headed? Uh, we are actually heading to the First Interstate Bank. Really? Yeah. Can I walk with you for a bit? Sure. sure. How long have you guys been here? Um, seven years. Seven years. Yeah? What's it like living here? Oh, man. It's for sure a lot different. Yeah? All right. <laughs> yep. Well, where did you really originally come from before? Uh, Congo? Congo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Man, you guys made a trek here. <laughs> no yes. way. Yes, sir. Yes. That must have been a huge culture change oh, for you. Yeah, for yes, sure, yeah. it is. For sure. What are the major differences? Oh, man. Like, what are the things you notice on a daily basis? Uh, um, like, honestly, for sure, like, the language. Yeah, sure. The language, like, yes. it's hard to talk to uh, people sometimes because I still have that uh, language like in my head. <laughs> so yeah. It's hard. English when it's hard for me. What has it been like, I mean, integrating into the community? Like, do you think people are friendly here? Oh, for sure. Yeah? yeah? Yes. Yeah. I really? I agree. Yes. Like, like, where I was from is, like, people, like, just don't really like together. Really? Yeah, it's just like, they just want something else instead of actually being friends or something. So, it's kind of, here's better for sure. I'm like, we mix a, I'm, we mix a lot of friends. Cool, man. Days, so. If you had to give one message to people, what would you give? I, I would say, I'm gonna put this towards you. Oh no. Um, like, man, one What's message. What's something you wish you could be, you were told earlier in your life, how about? Mm, like, you can do things through Christ who strengthen you. Like, mm. they, like, work hard and keep going. Don't ever stop. Just be who you are. Amen, man. And don't. Forget who you are, you know. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Uh, I say probably be mine. Have more, have faith that have you can faith. do. You can do a lot of things. And probably just believe in yourself that you actually can do stuff. Yeah. And if you don't do something, you already got to go in it and keep trying the best as you can. Like even if you fail, just get back up and just do it. Yeah. You'll get better that way. Love that, yeah. man. Love mm -hmm. that. I love the positive messages, guys. Can you hold this for a sec? I'm gonna put this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just yeah. put this mic back on real quick. I'll let you guys go on with your day. All right. Good luck in the bank. I always hate these places, man. They're always so uh, yeah. stiff in there, you know? It's just they're wearing their suits yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But hey, thank guys, you. Thank you. yeah, have a great day. Good luck with everything, okay? Too, yeah, take care. All right, let's keep doing it. I love that outfit, man. Let's go, those pants, the bell bottoms, right? Yeah, yeah, I got them at that Montana Vintage. Really? And when I went in there, I saw them on the rack and they uh, still had all the clothing tags. Really? Yeah, brand new pair. Now originally, bell bottoms, I mean, all you guys used to wear those in the day, right? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. You guys had more style then. <laughs> Even the earrings too. It's coming back. Man, you guys have, you have a great look today. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. Yeah, take it easy, man. Thank Cheers. You. Whoa, that was so fitted. Do you guys see that? Maybe I should walk with him for a bit. Yeah, he seems cool. Let's walk with him. Little jog here. Pardon me. Do you mind if I walk with you for a bit? 
Cool. And what do you do for fun around here? Uh, well, see, tonight's Thursday. And, yeah, Thursday night. Uh, I'll probably go to uh, Dizzy Dukes. Okay. Uh, they're supposed to be doing their first night of karaoke. Karaoke? Yeah, they're... Daisy Dukes. Yeah, they only, they only do it once a week, and today, today's their first attempt at it. Sure. They're going to fail, though, because I... the regular DJ that does this, the music for the dancers yeah. is the one that's going to be running it, Okay. he doesn't sing. And you can't, you can't you... run a karaoke system. No. Like it's gotta, you that's a prerequisite. You, you got to... Are you going to sing? Yeah. Good. Yeah. What do you like to sing? Oh. Willie Nelson, maybe? I do. All the time I'm yeah. uh, On the road again. Uh, Death Cab for Cutie. Uh, I will follow you into the door. Nice. Poison. So you've got a good selection at hand. What's your name? Dusty. Dusty? And you're? Zane. Zane. Nice good. to meet you, Dusty. You too, sir. All right, so where are you headed today? What are you getting up to? Okay, well, I'll, I'll split with you here, but Dusty, what's uh, one message you could share with people if you could? What would you say to people or maybe a piece of advice you'd give to your younger self? Enjoy life. Enjoy you life. How long is it gonna last? Amen to that. Thanks, Dusty, have a great day, man. Enjoy karaoke. Yep. By the way, just because we hopped straight into this video, I, w I wasn't able to say that First of all, love this Land Cruiser. Come on. Um, I'm going undercover, folks. I am from around these parts. But, or did I say that in the beginning of the video? I don't remember. Point is, we're trying to, we're trying to experience this town as if it was our first time here. So, you know, I'm doing what I would do in any part of the world. Just talking to the people that are walking around. As you can see, like most people are really friendly so far. Um, I think people get nervous when they go and approach. Just to say, can I walk with you? But turns out it's actually not that hard. I think I'm a little too excited out here. Folks, I know those questions I've been asking haven't been on point. I recognize that. And it may be a little windy. I'm hoping the audio is good using that DJI mic, um, but I'm mellowed out now. So let's ask the questions that matter. Let's be a little more smooth here. It is Thursday around lunchtime. So perhaps that's why we're not seeing the streets full, but frankly, folks, this is downtown. I mean, this is the downtown area, so if these sidewalks aren't full, I'm not sure what sidewalks will be full. And this is the most populated town in Billings, or excuse me, in Montana. Yeah, maybe we should give a little history on Billings, Montana. South centrally located. The nickname is Magic City. And at first glance, you'd probably say, why? What's so magic about this place? But the nickname was given in the late 1800s, I think. Let's just put that number out there. It sounds sophisticated. When the railroad had a boom here. Um, and that's how the city was built. So it's a railroad town full of, uh, you know, good hardworking people as far as I can tell, and as far as I know from living in the area, that guy just dodged me. I think he saw I was coming with the camera and gave me a nice juke step. We'll respect his space. We'll keep moving. A little Chinese joint. That's always important. It smells pretty good, too. Hey, man. You from around here? I am. Can I walk with you for a minute? Sure. Cool. I'm just getting to know the area. I'm Zane. Justin. Justin, nice to yeah, meet nice you. Nice to meet you. If you could share one message with the world, Justin, and by the world we mean my, you know, couple subscribers. <laughs> what do we? What would you share with them? Be kind to everyone. Yeah. There you go. I love that. Thanks, Justin. Great to Have a great you. day, man. Have a See ya. Day. Are you guys seeing all this positivity? I mean. If you only 
plugged into the news and social media, then you would be convinced fairly quickly that we're living in a terrible world. But here in Billings, Montana, which is a city of the people, a city that's just like every other city, we've already talked to four people and each of them have shared a message of positivity and seem to be in good spirits. So that's encouraging to me. I am, I'm optimistic for the future myself. I'm not buying all the sinister and warped and extremist messages being pushed through media platforms. It's always nice just to get a pulse on people, how they are. Real people, real people, physical, physically there in front of you is encouraging. Now what I'd like to show you is the center of downtown, the Times Square of Billings, Montana. We're headed straight for it, although you wouldn't be able to tell by really anything. Hopefully we'll be able to find some more people down that way. There she is. City center, downtown center. We have a lovely looking old movie theater. What's a downtown without a nice old movie theater? This is the Babcock. This is really cool. I like this. I like, I would love to work just inside this booth handing out tickets as long as free popcorn came with it. Howdy. Do you have any idea what this is? What this is? Yeah. Oh, it's, um, I can't remember what they Sky call Point. it. Huh? Sky Point. Sky Point, yeah. It, in the summertime, they put canvas across it. Sure. And covers it up, and then they have things in the street. Okay. Yeah. That sounds fun. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Have a great day. So there you go. This is Sky Point. And in the summer, it sounds like this just makes a nice big tent and you can have yourself a ball. So here we are. This seems like the, the four corners of the world meet right here. <laughs> Not a lot going on. We have a cafe, we have a Jimmy John's, a couple restaurants, a couple banks. Hmm, I guess we'll keep walking a little bit top of the morning. You look like a barber, I could tell, man. Yeah, you're cleaned up. Oh, okay, cool. Whoops, he's a tattoo artist, but he looked like a barber. Well, I guess barbers and tattoo artists kind of look the same. Still not a lot of action going on down here, folks. I'd like to get one more group of people to talk to, and let's make it interesting, shall we? Hey, man, now you're all good? Yeah. Hey, can I walk with you? Where are you headed? I don't want to talk about it, sorry. Okay, sure, you don't want to talk about it. Something illegal, maybe? No, I already committed the crime. All right, good luck, man. A little, a little, uh, Dostoevsky character. He's just committed the crime and he's wandering the streets, wondering what happens next. Hey, guys. Hey, hey guys. How you hey, doing, you man? Man? Where are you from, man? From here, Four Corners. Four Corners. Yeah. Can I walk with you guys? I'm going back. Yeah. Oh, can I just walk like half a block with you? Okay. Yeah. What's your guys' names? Boba. Boba? Zane, nice to meet you. Boba, and you? Derek. Derek, nice to meet you, man. Hey, I'm Gretch, Gretch right here real quick, all right? Okay. <laughs> I'm with you. What do you guys like about Billings? Uh, the weather. The weather's yeah? awesome. Weather. Like the cold weather? Sure. And you guys started. Other than Phoenix, I hate the weather down there. Yeah. This reminds me of when I was a kid. This is nice, man. This is crisp. Yeah. Yeah, good this is good living out here. Yeah, definitely. It's dangerous, though. That's what I heard, man. Tell me more about that. Some guy just told me that. What's Walk dangerous? down that way and you'll find out. This way? That yeah. way. South Park. Go down that way, just walk one block over, and you'll, you'll meet some crazy people. I mean, <laughs> do, you, do you guys go down there? No. No. Stay out of trouble. Really? Yes, sir. Look. Yeah, yeah, you got stuff. If I go down there, just be taken. Yeah, that's a nice bike. 
I thought there's a nice park over there, man. You don't even take your bike down there. I don't take my kids over there. You don't take your kids over there either. Uh -huh. Wow. So do you like cross the cross the tracks? Yes, sir. Right, we go Should we stay out of that area, huh? Yeah, exactly. Hey, I'm daring you, Billy. <laughs> Double dog dare, huh? Yeah. I'm the type of guy that might do it. I'm daring you, Billy. Yep. <laughs> Appreciate the time, guys. I'm gonna split this way. All right. Have Be a nice safe. day. I will. Hey. Nice day. Oh wait. Hey, other other than that, it's a nice, it's a nice city. Well, give me uh, what's what's one thing you want to share with everybody? Be thankful to wake up. Be thankful to wake up. Yep. Amen, man. Yep. All right. Every day. Every day. It's Every a blessing. Day. Appreciate it, guys. Have a great day. So we've got two reports about a rough neighborhood just down yonder, down this way. Do I plunge in or not? Is the question. Wait, let's not glance over the fact that some guy just said he did a crime. What was that about? I mean, should we go check it out? Can it really be that dangerous? I mean, those guys didn't seem like they were playing. It still looks kind of quiet down that way. Too quiet. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous myself. Maybe these people will know. Howdy, guys. Is it true that, like, across those tracks, you shouldn't go? I mean, to a degree, yeah. Is it really a rough crowd over there? Kinda. Depending on which street you're on, yeah. Like, right across the tracks, it's a little rough. Really? And then a few streets down, it's all right. Then you go down a few more, and it's rough again. Even rougher? Yeah. The south side's definitely a little worse than the north side, but they're kind of catching up now. Okay. That's not a good thing to be catching up, I guess, the south side, right? No. I, okay. I grew up down here, so I mean, it's bad. So you've seen it. It's been oh, changing. Oh, yeah. Like, north side down that way by North Park is pretty rough crowd, too. Like, I had something break into my truck for a half, rush, half rack of bush light. Half rack of bush light? Yeah. It's down to that level. It was down to that level, and the funny thing is, the car was unlocked. Come on. And then over there is where most of the shootings happen. <laughs> shootings? Yeah. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. I thought we're in a... This is Billings, Montana. Isn't this a nice little city? It used to be. What changed? I really wish I could tell you that more people came in, overcrowding. Yeah. Gang violence. Gang violence. Yeah, actually, just enabled a task force from our police department for it. Really? Yeah. About how recent is that? Uh, probably about a year or two. A year or two. Are they cleaning up the streets? Is it working? <laughs> I want to give them credit where it's due. They're trying. Sure. Yes, that's important to give credit. Okay, I won't keep you guys. It looks oh, like you yeah. just got some food. Oh, what, right. is, what is one message you could share with people if you could? Come visit, but don't move here. Come visit, but don't move here. <laughs> I'm not from here, so... <laughs> okay, just about a life message, man. Like, uh, maybe something you wish you would have known when you were younger. Uh, don't get credit card debt and live life to the fullest. Don't get credit card debt. I love that, yeah. man. Appreciate it. You have a good smile, by the way, man. Good teeth. See ya. Wow. So we have shootings. We have some gang violence. Multiple reports not to go into the south side. How adventurous am I feeling on this Thursday afternoon? We may be saved by the bell. Oh, look at this. We have a mermaid. Whoa. I mean, what is that doing up there? Okay. Let's see if we can piece together this art. First of all, that looks like a really uncomfortable position. I mean, is, is this supposed to be a rock here? She's leaning over it. I'm not quite sure. She's probably about 16 to 17 feet tall on the tail, of course. That fish is huge. A little unrealistic, but we'll take it. There's somebody in the alley. Do I go talk to him? I haven't been down an alley yet. Why not? Catching some sun? Huh? Catching some sun? Yeah, just... It's a nice place to do it, man. Yeah, it's like I'm just stepping out for a break. How much longer you got? Huh? How much longer you got? What, a break? Yeah. I don't know. Long as I want, yeah. Can I sit down with you? I'm just killing time. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm trying to get to know people in Billings. I'm passing through. Where are you from? Kingston, Canada. Kingston, Canada. Like Pretty somewhere. east. <laughs> I want to check things out, man. I'm trying to see if it's really as crazy as people are saying. Is it? Uh, not, not Billings. Not Billings? Yeah, uh, it's everything pretty mellow around here. Yeah. 
Some people were just telling me though that there's some crazy stuff happening. Howdy. What the hell are you doing, Mike? Mike good is uh, a good friend of mine, an oh, old yeah. friend, hey, and Canada. we're just catching up here. Sorry, dinner. Mike, I'm Zane, by the way. Oh, Michael. Nice to meet you, Mike. Lots of That's good. That's Alicia. This is one of my coworkers. Nice to meet Pleasure. you. Pleasure. Pleasure. I love your eyelashes. Thank you. Are there purple in those? There's a little purple wow. in them. Wow. Yes. Nice work. That must yes. have been difficult. It's not. Oh, really? It's really just, they pop them on. We should try that out, Michael. Yeah. Or put eyelashes? No, I don't know. Well, I already got long eyelashes. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you, yeah, know, you got a good set. Good set. Yeah. How about, yeah, I, yeah, there's a restaurant here. Cook yeah. And stat. Is that, am I saying it right? I always say it wrong. Stat. Are you a line cook in there? <laughs> yeah. Nice. He's been That's hard here work, for years, man. And he still doesn't know the name yeah. of the restaurant. Yeah. It's stacked. Stacked. Yes. Oh, <laughs> stacked. <laughs> Well, yeah. well, that's what, what does that matter to a line cook? He's just there making making the world go around. Come through the back door. Yeah, he's the guy that makes stuff happen. Right, exactly. But you keep a book of of things. That... I write down like the nice things that happen because really? if you don't, being a server sucks, and you want to quit every single day or stop someone. So this is on your phone. <laughs> Yeah. Could you read some of it? Yeah. So let's see. Nice things that all happened. Right, that's too much positivity for me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Mike, hey man. Um, you too. I appreciate all line cooks hey, no out problem. there. You guys don't get enough credit. That's Thanks, so man. True. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Guy you make us all healthy. Guy, <laughs> guy at table one complimented my sweater. Okay. And then. Table one is yes. being a little bit flirtatious. Sounds like. No, it was an older guy. He's just oh. super sweet. Okay. And then guy at table three, older guy, super nice. Said I had a beautiful smile. Okay. Um, ladies complimented my hair. Yeah. But yeah, it's just like I try and nice write down the nice things that happen, or else like you'll lose your mind. You know. That's a good piece of advice. Yeah. And you're from here originally? Yes. Born and is it true that I keep hearing? It's a little bit rough around town. What do you mean? Just like like people crime? are just saying they're shooting and cars oh. break, getting broken into. So is that true or is the that hype? The downtown area is a little rough. Like you have to be smart. You can't just like no. Puts I think around. it's fine. Like oh, changing just your mind. Just like every okay. town, there's a little bit of crime. It is getting more and more as people are moving in, and it's just getting bigger here. But sure. It is a generally, I've never felt unsafe. That's like good walking, to know. And I walk to my car alone and yeah. After your shift and everything, it's yeah. okay? Yeah. Never had a problem? I never, I lived in California for a little while. Yeah. In Venice Where about? Beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was scary. Mm. Just walking to the beach in the morning, in the daylight, I was scared. Just because the like homeless problem there, they're, they're on the boardwalk and they're generally like kind of loud and boisterous and like they will chase you. Like, wow. Yeah. So, okay. Put the roller skates on. You got to get out of there. Yeah. Type thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got our asses kicked today, so I'm happy about it. But okay. now I'm like, okay, I need to eat some food before I pass out. Yeah. Um, there's a house of books, which is a really cool store Ooh. with like little stuff and a bookstore right you there. You like books? Yes. Have you ever read Orwell's Down and Out in Paris? And no. And Down and Out in Paris in London or Down and Out? Yeah. Down and out Paris. I'm right Paris and London. It's about See, this is going his on when these things happen. Is, uh, well, he was a waiter. You know George Orwell? So he yeah. wrote like 1984 mm -hmm. and Animal Farm. Mm -hmm. Before he did all that, he wrote this really great book about being a waiter, really? a super broke waiter in Paris. Shut and up. It's so good. Oh my God. He'd love it. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. It. It's I'm one of my favorite books. I'm a writing major. So. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, I haven't written in years, so that's like the last time I Maybe, wrote, the, Maybe this is your sign to get back into it. Yes, this is my sign. Yeah. Nice Have a great day. Here. See ya. Enjoy filming. Thanks. I will. What a great day. I mean, that was cool. I agree. Case is closed. You'll never be bored if you explore your hometown or the town you're familiar with as if you were a tourist. Obviously, when you're traveling, you kind of have to talk to people or else you're just going to be kind of hanging out alone. But it's nice to force yourself outside of your comfort zone even when you're in a place where you're typically comfortable so that's all i got for you today folks i'm gonna go pick up my sister from the airport i'm already late i'll get uh probably chewed into but i'd say it was worth it cheerio